Socks and Crocs. Hello and welcome to Scott's Kitchen. You know, sometimes when you're out and about, you're at like a farmer's market or the fair or something, and sometimes they have a booth and they're cooking on a grill these little skewers. Sometimes they're chicken, sometimes they're pork skewers, little pieces of chicken or pork, and then they grill them on there and they're so good. And I love it, but it's not something that I've ever made at home. So I thought, why not? I have some pork shoulder here that's marinating. And then I went and I bought some skewers. So I think I'm pretty much set. Let's go see if we can make it. So I think the first thing I want to do is soak my skewers. Wooden skewers. Got them at the supermarket. They aren't very expensive. And I have no idea how many I'm going to need. I have probably two or three pounds. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's start with ten. Now we're moving over here to the grill area. I don't think I've ever done a Scott's Kitchen here in my grilling station. Um, you have seen it in Scott's Garage when I did the the pet gate for Willie, and that's working great, by the way. But and you may have seen in that episode uh, my big grill, which is back over here. But today we're going to be using my little mini hibachi. Let me give you a closer look. So the mini hibachi. Um, got it from Amazon, of course, as I do everything. And it's not very expensive, but it was all cast iron, or is all cast iron. And kind of the way I like to do it is put some wood down here. Because I, I kind of was, kind of was watching like the Japanese chefs. And they had, they have something kind of similar to this. And that's sort of the way they do it. They have charcoal and they put wood down at the bottom to kind of get it going. And I thought I would try to do the same. And I don't know what kind of, they probably use some exotic cherry wood or something like that. But I'm just going to use some regular wood that I have around. And then let's put uh, charcoal on top of here and fill it up. Okay, I'm not really sure the right amount of charcoal. I think maybe all of it would be about the right amount. So, that looks pretty good. And then you can move this as like a, you can increase or decrease your airflow, I think. Could be wrong about that. Anyway. So then we give it a healthy dose of charking, instant charcoal lighter. I'm going to let that soak in a little bit and try to put this out of the way so I don't catch the whole house on fire. So the last time that I did this, I had it up like this and the food didn't really get that cooked because it seemed like it was really high up above the charcoal. So I think what I'm going to do is put this on upside down and uh, let's see how that works. Uh, all right. And while that's cooking, oh, I can smell it. While that's um, Warming up the charcoal, let's go cut some of these skewers. Let's so I think what I should try to do is maybe cut this up into little bite-sized pieces that would fit on the skewer good. So let's do that now. Okay, now this is a Ziploc freezer bag and I actually had it fail on me, <laughs> which I've never had. The freezer bags are pretty tough. And I've never had them fail before, but this one, it ripped right at the bottom. And uh, I thought that was pretty unusual. First time for everything, I suppose. Okay, That is Stater Brothers barbecue sauce. And um, then I'll probably mix some more things in here.
when the time is right. Okay, so this is just pork shoulder, which is incredibly inexpensive in terms of your meat, and uh, I think is a really good value. So I don't know, I've never done this before, like that size. And just throw it back in there. Kind of, I'm kind of thinking like if I put the skewer through it, would that work? So let's just continue on with this and uh, kind of in fast motion. Okay, ready, go. Okay, so my idea here, I have my wet sticks over here, and just to kind of thread a piece on, I don't know, about like that, and then just keep going until I get a whole bunch of them, and I'm just going to line them all up right here. All right, engage. Time warp, now. Okay, so as I'm getting more into this, what I'm kind of doing is I think I've seen, like putting it through the long way, to kind of double it over. Let me get a good example. So like this one, you put it through here and then double it over like that. Okay, let's take these outside. How's that looking? Oh. Is it working? Mm. Kind of? Mm. Can I put this back here? Yeah. Put a little non-stick cooking spray. Perfect for pyrotechnics. Let's try. Ooh. I hear sizzling. I have sizzling. Wow, that looks really good. That looks just like at the the fair slash farmer's market slash whatever event. Dang. I like that. This little hibachi grill is cool. So then let's kind of do some basting. Maybe like this. All right, well, I can't wait anymore. These are still cooking, but I need to have a piece. Mmm. That's good. That's just like, just like at the fair.
more farmer's market. Tastes just like it, but I made it at home. <laughs> so I'm just finishing up the last four of these. That worked out to be um, the perfect amount of charcoal. We've still got a lot of good red coals down there. But, um, yeah, and what did I have? A total of, I think, eight skewers, not ten. That's okay. This is cooking great. God, I love this little grill. So neat. So let's put a little rice peel off on here. There we go. And then we have some zucchini that Lily grilled. And I think we're ready to eat. Yes, we are ready to eat. Doesn't that look good? We have some grilled zucchini, rice pilaf, and grilled pork skewers. So I'm really looking forward to eating this. And it was really fun making it. My hibachi worked really nice, and it wasn't that hard. So. Yeah, I think this is a success. See you next time. Bye-bye.